Sam, the area around that distro center has produced a significant quantity of chiral crystals. Matter of fact, that's where the chirelium used in your Cupid's internal circuitry came from. They have a range of applications, including equipment fabrication. Bottom line, they're a valuable resource and one you'll want to make the most of. I'll let Hartman explain in more detail, but chiral crystals don't exactly grow in trees. If you see any deposits, you should go out of your way to gather them. Especially since folks with dooms are the only ones that can. Provided they have the necessary equipment, that is. I'll see that it's added to your supplies for this order. Sam, it's Hartman. Following the discovery of the beach, we not only began to observe heretofore unseen phenomena, but a new type of matter. Chirelium. I say new, but it has doubtlessly existed since the dawn of the universe. We believe it was always there, like dark matter and certain particles. Ever-present, yet overlooked because we lacked the capacity to see it. Chirelium appears to be unbound by the constraints of physics as we understand them. It can stop time or move contrary to it. On occasion, it even defies gravity. In practical terms, it can stop or even reverse time and causes objects to float. A special cylindrical case is required to collect and store it. Suffice it to say, the procurement of samples is vital to our ongoing research. Heads up, Sam. Distro Center staff's got a favor to ask. Probably best I start from the beginning. This one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. Mules must have snatched it, caught the porter en route or something. If I'm right, they'll have taken it to their drop site, which is smack dab in the middle of their territory. Don't suppose you'd be up for stealing us our property back? Can't think of anyone more qualified than you. Mama's added a watchtower schematic to your PCC. If you don't have it on you, consider fabricating one. You never know when you'll need to recon an area. Secure storage for any crystals you gather. Uh, 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 allow me to describe your quarry. Chiral crystals appear gold to the naked eye and have frequently found in formations resembling human handprints. The surrounding rocks and debris tend to float a few feet above the ground. And they are most commonly found in areas with high precipitation. Got all that? Hmm? Rain, floating rocks, golden handprints. That's your trifecta. Look for these three things and you'll find the crystals. If you've been especially observant, then perhaps you already know where to look. Thank you for your contribution. Beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. Name's Sam. Beginning scan. Hello? Anybody home?
weapons restrictions lifted. Sam, Cairo crystals are pretty small and can be difficult to spot with the naked eye. I'd advise you to use your ultimate to point you in the right direction. If you want to survey a wider area, though, you might consider building a watchtower and relying on its sensors. Thanks for the help. Today's a good day. Thanks for the help.
spiral crystals for us? These crystals only form in places with elevated Kyrillian levels. Which makes me wonder if expanding the network had something to do with it. <laughs> Damn, son. That is a lot of crystals. Maintenance and R&D will both get their fill, looks like. Excess chiral crystals can be deposited at any facility. They'll be added to the stores held on site. These Good work, Sam. It seems your connection level is increasing. As your connection level increases, larger quantities of resources will be made available to you at our facilities. That's container repair spray for patching up cargo containers. Good for dealing with timefall degradation and all that. Useful stuff if you and your cargo have been through the ringer. We've added it to your supplies list, so it's readily available if and when you need it. between elevated Corellian levels and increased crystal formation. This may well be the result of the network's expansion. You needn't worry though, local chiral density is still within an acceptable range. If you find any more, be sure to collect it. You'll be well rewarded. If you come into more chiral crystals, you can submit them at one of our facilities. And you can deposit other resources too, along with any items you don't need. Everything has its value. What we don't use as is can be broken down into components for R&D and other applications.
weapons restrictions lifted. Sideways, be ready to fight. Sam, before you approach the mule drop site, we recommend you use a watchtower to confirm the location of the post box containing our cargo. Private locker can be used to store cargo and the like.
drop sites are rarely deserted, so remaining undetected is key. Keep a low profile and move slowly to minimize noise. Seems all the mules in your vicinity have been incapacitated.
bullshit at all. Back in the day, AI did everything. Deliveries were handled by unmanned vehicles and drones. And all we had to do was sit back and let them work. It was revolutionary. Damn near singularity. No reason for it not to take off. But it didn't. People didn't like it when we took the human element out of the service industry. So, after some consideration, we put it back in. Made jobs no one really needed and gave them the folks who couldn't live without them. And from there it snowballed. Now we got cults of cargo chasing crazies who get off on hijacking shipments. Jackal's always on the lookout for the next order. Make sure you're not him. All weapons will remain locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you.
Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Sam, how are your shoes holding up? Not too well, I imagine, conditions being what they are out there. Nothing ruins your day like shoes falling apart while you're on the job. Carry on like that and it's only a matter of time before you injure yourself. I've arranged for boots to be added to your supplies. Bridges stand... You should always carry an extra pair. But if you forget or run into trouble, you can fabricate another via a terminal at one of our many facilities. Congratulations, Sam. I understand you now have access to a chiral printer. An extraordinarily useful device that can only function because of the manner in which our network utilizes the beach, enabling us to transfer massive volumes of data instantaneously. Since under normal circumstances, such transfers would take hours, if not days, some have speculated that the chiral network might, in essence, be a time machine. That it is transmitting data into the past. Suffice it to say, we have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature of the network and the beach which we have come to rely on. One might liken our relationship with it to that of primitive man's with fire. Is it useful? Quite. Is it dangerous? Undeniably so. Nevertheless, we have decided that the reward outweighs the risk. Furthermore, as the BTs are linked to the beach, it stands to reason that further study and experimentation could be of considerable benefit. The same could be said regarding you, of course. <laughs> Rest assured, I will keep you apprised of what I learn. You have my word. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal. Like some car you can access the ship
Now, you've done a fine job expanding the Cairo network. But to make the most of it, we'll need to generate more power. We'll have to make a few hops before we can link up the closest city, too. Once this wind farm is part of the Cairo network, we'll be able to route the energy it generates through the beach. Unlike traditional transmission methods, nothing is lost. We can provide power to distant regions and utilize facilities there as electrical substations. You're to deliver a key component. Should be finished printing. Take it to the wind farm and get us in business. Hey, Sam, mind doing me a favor? There's a bridge that needs building. Over a river, just outside that distro center. It's too deep to ford, and we'd like a long-term solution. The foundation's already been laid, and everything required to finish the job should be in storage. All you need to do is carry the remaining materials to the construction area and use them to complete the bridge. If it turns out there isn't enough there for... We've added a bridge schematic to your PCC. The first step is laying the foundation, after which you'll have to supply additional material. Plenty of rivers and canyons could do with a good bridge, you know. Take a stroll across one you built yourself, and I guarantee you'll be glad you made the effort. Give it a try. Too much. 
Hey, Sam, mind doing me a favor? There's a bridge that needs building. Over a river, just outside that distro center. It's too deep to ford, and we'd like a long-term solution. The foundation's already been laid, and everything required to finish the job should be in storage. All you need to do is carry the remaining materials to the construction area and use them to complete the bridge. If it turns out there isn't enough there for our needs after all, you'll have to come up with the rest on your own. I know you've got a lot on your plate right now, but remember, this bridge will make your life easier too. life easier for a lot of people. You can be sure that every traveler in Porter who passes that way will put it to good use. Keep an eye on for other spots that could do with another well-placed bridge. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 